What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Laron. We back with another video. You see the thumbnail, see this video is about. But before we get into this video, I want to say what's up to my subscribers. Also, if you're new to this channel, welcome. And if you are new, please consider hitting subscribe and turn on notifications. Because on this channel, we do thought-provoking videos, such as this one right here, reaction videos, and once a month, I do a review on a black-owned product. So if you're into that kind of content, hit subscribe and turn on notifications. And please like and share this content with everybody that's in your phone book slash loved ones. Let's go. <laughs> so we have this crazy story coming out of... Washington DC right coming out of Washington DC we have Kevin Porter jr. Hitting a game winning shot and the announcer for the Wizards Said something that was inappropriate But the thing that he said was inappropriate Have a greater reason and excuse why he did it. Let's get into what he said I'm gonna pull up this article from complex magazine and I'm gonna read the article and show you some clips of it and whatever Then after that I give you why is an excuse to what he did and said? All right, let's go. All right, it's Complex Magazine, right here. Wizards broadcaster apologizes after being ripped for reference to Kevin Porter's Jr. late father. All right, so it's the brother Kevin Porter Jr. right here. Kevin Porter Jr. hit a dagger on Wednesday night to help the Houston Rockets defeat the Washington Wizards. But the game winning play was overshadowed when the Wizards commentator made an inappropriate reference to Porter's Jr. late father. You got to give credit to Kevin Porter Jr. Like his dad, pull that trigger right at the right time, Glenn Consul said on the broadcast. For context, Porter's Jr. father, Brian Kevin Porter Sr., pleaded guilty to first-degree manslaughter and spent four years in prison for shooting and killing a 14-year-old girl in 1993 and was later murdered in a bar fight in 2004. So here's an actual tweet right here of... Uh, of how it kind of like blow up. So Kevin Porter Jr., like I said, pulled that trigger right at the right time. I can't believe this was actually said on it with his broadcast, completely inexcusable. But the funny part is, well not funny that he did that or said that. The funny thing is, it's actually an excuse why he did it. Just like how this announcer didn't do his homework, I think it's out of, out of character for us not to do our homework. Then once LeBron J said something on Twitter, you know it's a rap. Oh, let me say it in my LeBron voice. Oh, he thought this was cool, huh? Nah, we ain't going for this. Sorry, but this ain't going to fly. How insensitive can you be to say something like this? Beat it, man. I pray for you, but there's no place in our beautiful game for you, LeBron James. And here's a tweet right here. You gotta give credit. Kevin Porter Jr. Like his dad, so, pulled that trigger. You, it, you heard it you right heard it. at the right time. Boy, that one stung. There you go again. All right. So yeah, so that's that. You heard he said that, right? So you, so they saying that there is no excuse for him saying that, right? And like I said, for those people who tweet in this and upset about this, I get it. You got to be first to say things. Got to have that that first post, that that first fill. But at the same time, there's an excuse. I'm gonna pull this article from ball is life so here's kevin porter from the nba third round pick four-time league lead in assists 29 assists in one game only player with a 30 25 game first player with a thousand assists in one season the odds are you have no idea who kevin porter is why would you he was a third round pick in 1972 and traded every other year for 10 years while never making an all-star team or winning the championship, why would he be why would we be celebrating a guy like this? The reason is the reason I bring up a 5'11 point guard named every single February 24th because it's the anniversary anniversary of his 14.29 assist performance against Hall of Famer Calvin Murphy of the Houston Rockets. Check this out. Check this out how ironic this is. So this guy. Put up a 14-29 point game against a Houston Rocket player, right? And who does, excuse me, who does Kevin Porter Jr. play for Houston Rockets? How crazy is this? Like, this is like a bizarre world type of thing. So, but he did do it with, while playing with the Nets. But he also played for the Bullets. And what's the Bullets' new name? The Wizards. So maybe this commentator, being a Wizards historian, remember that name 
and saying, and now he's saying, all right, this guy play for the Wizards. This guy play for the Bullets. Now the Wizards. And he used to be on that team. I remember that name. He was a he was a, a senior. This is a junior. He was a good scorer. He was a good offensive player. Now, somebody with the same name in the NBA hit a shot. What are the chances of all that happened? What are the chances that a guy hit a shot in the NBA? Does a guy make a reference to his father saying his father was a great shooter or whatever? Say he hit the shot like his dad. The guy who his dad shared name with played for the team that he hit a shot against. But the guy who his father really is murdered somebody. What are the chances of all that happening? I could see how this guy could make that mistake. I could see how that guy could make that mistake. It's not that big of a deal if you look at the whole context of the situation. But if you look at a, a tweet from LeBron James and saying, like, there's no place for you in our league, you automatically get mad and get triggered. Like, nah, you can't have that. But unfortunately, if you look at the full context of the situation, this guy was in the wrong, but there's an excuse why he's in the wrong. There's a whole other player with the same name, and now he's a junior in the league. What are the chances of all that happening? What are the chances? But I came across this story, and at first I was like, damn, this commentator's crazy why he said this. And I started looking more into it. I said, oh, now it makes more sense because there's a whole nother Kevin Porter that played in the NBA that actually played for the team that Kevin Porter Jr. hit a shot against. It makes sense. It makes sense why he would think that. It makes sense why he would think that. But what are your thoughts on this, man? Y'all think that uh, this, comment, this, uh, this commentary commentator need to get fired for his mistake? If you think so, let me know in the comments. But do you think that this commentator has made a mistake and it should just blow over and it is what it is? My opinion, I'm going with the commentator made a mistake. It is what it is. Let it blow over. Yo, don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. But let me know how y'all feel about this in the comments, man. I appreciate your time. All right, man. Till next time. Peace.